So you might be asking yourself, what happens if I bring my own device to net to phone Well, if you already have your phones in place, we're going to show you how to go about activating your phones so they work with our net to phone system. At this time, we recommend doing a factory reset of your phone by holding down the numbers 135. Once that reset is complete, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to locate the IP address on your Polycom device. When looking at your phone, you will notice a circular button with a home icon on it. Slightly below, we have a circular trackpad, which allows you to move from left to right, up and down, and then in the middle, it allows you to select an option. Let's start off with selecting the home button, and then we're going to go down and then over to the settings tab, and then we're going to go down to number four, which is status, and then you're going to go down to number two, network, and then you're going to select number one, which is TCP slash IP parameters. And then you're going to notice a line that reads IPv4 address. Next to this is listed your IP address. An IP address is a unique string of numbers separated by periods that identifies each computer using the internet protocol to communicate over a network. Make sure to write this IP address down as you're going to need it within the next few steps. Next, we're going to go back into our dashboard and then go into the company tab and back into the team members section. Since we're showing you how to bring your own device, I'm going to use Alexander Lasky as an example. We're going to have to click on this pencil icon and then go over to devices. Then we're going to scroll down and copy this polycom string. We're going to need this in the next step. Once you have copied both your IP address and your phone string, we're going to go ahead and open a new browser window and enter h https colon forward slash forward slash and then input your IP address. I've already copied mine. You may receive a warning sign depending on your browser of choice. Do not be alarmed. Simply click through and proceed or advance. Then you will be brought to the device's login page. Within this page we're going to be entering the Polycom password. If you do not know what your password is, please contact the company where you purchased your phones. Generally, new Polycom phones have a code of 456. I'm going to go ahead and type in our code now. And then we're going to press Submit. Once at this screen, we're going to go into Settings, and then we're going to go down to Provisioning Server. You want to make sure that the server type is set to HTTP, as the default for server type is FTP. Then we're going to delete this string, then copy in our new net to phone string that we copied in the previous step within the devices section. Then we're going to go down and select DHCP menu and we want to make sure that static is listed as the default for this option is usually custom plus op 66. So we're going to make sure to select static and then go down and save. And then select yes. Great, our phones have been updated. Now you're going to notice your phone rebooting. Give it a few moments to complete its process. Once it's completed, congratulations! You're now ready to start making and receiving calls.